Remember, there's four different ways that you can benefit from having an investment property. You're paying down a mortgage. The price usually increases. The, the value of a home increases. What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, top realtor here in Central Florida with EXP Realty. Today is a good day and also we we're going to talk about teaming. All right, this is the part two of how to get some Airbnb and get some more revenue, how to team a property, something like this. As again, my co-worker or my team member here in Central Florida, David, investor and also a homeowner who will explain us, give some tips and good nuggets about teaming in short-term rental. Okay, first of all, for those people, who hasn't watched the first one would you like to introduce yourself yeah absolutely my name is david zambrano originally from venezuela i've been here in central florida for over 18 years uh became a real estate agent at the end of last year 2021 and has been a, an amazing ride and here we are the one-up retreat talking about a theme short-term rental thank you david and thank you for the opportunity for me to get your house here to be in my youtube channel i really appreciate this one and also i'm excited so first of all what i would like to ask about question about theming okay so number one when you're buying a property does the theming helps to get more revenue than no theming at all what would you say about that one absolutely a hundred percent when you're looking at a short-term rental we are going to be making a little bit more money than a long-term rental would but by theming a place out you're creating an experience it's not just a, a pretty place to rest your head at night when you're on vacation it's actually um, that kids and the adults will will enjoy together and have a, a, a better time you know in, enjoying uh, the family time together yeah especially like if you are near in like disney as you know we are here from florida in davenport in champions gate specifically the disney is like minutes away from here and then people from out of state or from out of the country as well they are coming here for a vacation and most of them they come in here because they have kids and then once they stay in here the kids will get like very excited because of oh wow what is this like it's super mario or whatever so you will get more chance to get booked rather than no theming because we'll say like it's boring right you get more excitement especially if you're a young kid like five six seven years old you will feel like oh this is nice i want to stay here because i have this and have that you know what else is exciting there is a star wars hotel at disney property <sighs> And at the low season, the cheapest you can get a, a price, uh, the nightly rate, is $1,000. Wow. The high season is $5,000. So what's not exciting is a parent trying to give this experience to their kids and seeing that price and saying, oh, you know what, like we're, yeah. we're not going to do that. Let's take a look at Airbnbs. And that's where we come in. Yeah. And also the good thing here as well in teaming an Airbnb is you're not just going to get one room, right? Because most of the time you get a house or a townhouse or a place that the whole family could stay. It's not just like... Like, oh, we're gonna go to, like you said, the Star Wars, probably two room, and you're not together as well. You know, here at least you're a full family. You could, number one, you could cook, you could do whatever you want, and also you feel like at home, but you are in different place, right? Yeah, and you got your own private pool. What else do you want? Yeah, <laughs> that's correct. And you are mini away from Disney, right? So that's the number one you need to, you know, uh, consider if you are want to get a property, a theming like this for short term rental. Okay, let's go to my second question. Second question, why did you choose a Super Mario or Mario or One Up Retreat as your theme for this house. Yeah, absolutely. So there is so many theme Airbnbs in this area, and we still want it to be in that top 10% of Airbnbs in the in, in Champions Gate in the Four Corners uh, Davenport area. So we started looking at different things that are coming to Orlando. Universal Studios creating a third park on the other side of I-4 is going to be called Epic Universe, and within that, there's going to be a Super Nintendo World, mm -hmm. which it's already started in. In Japan, they already have they were already open, so you can take a look at uh, some of those videos, and that's where we got a lot of the inspiration here. Mm -hmm. Another big thing, why Mario? Well, because uh, my parents know Mario, and anyone <laughs> that you, you talk to, yeah, they'll they'll know Super Mario. And behind us, we have Princess Peach and, and uh, Bowser over here. <laughs> um, we also wanted rooms that were neutral for kids. You know, mm -hmm. we don't we didn't want to make a castle room yeah. just for girls because uh, let's be honest, boys are not gonna want to stay in that room yeah. so those are things that you want to think about when you're theming out the place 
don't restrict it so much mm -hmm. try to go for a multi-generational theme and to be honest there's way too many Star Wars and Harry Potter mm -hmm. houses already over here so we wanted to have something different yeah so make people like oh I never seen this before right and then oh I want to try this one so you know if you meet probably a little bit creative on what you're trying to do to stand out and you have more chance to get book rather than the one that they already saw or already been been there right absolutely okay so that's the number two so make sure you're taking note on this one so that you know once you get your own airbnb you know what to do and you know you get this money not just about money the experience for the guests who will stay here either short term or maybe you know long term okay let's go for uh number three how much does it cost you to get this theme and who is your artist that who did this all over i know we have some secret here that need to reveal but i let you <laughs> explain and you know show to the audience or tell to the audience who did this short team absolutely so when we were thinking about doing the short-term rental uh, we started talking to different people that are already doing it right here in champions gate and they do amazing job but they they're a little on the pricey side they they quoted a hundred thousand dollars for a big house you know a bedroom house or fifteen thousand dollars per room i did some other research i talked to a muralist uh, local to orlando and he would charge five thousand thousand dollars for four walls and the ceiling um that to us it, it's worth it but we wanted to keep our acquisition costs as low as possible yeah, the cost so we got creative you mentioned the, the word creative and, and that's key in real estate um not just in the purchasing but in the things that you do so uh my wife is colombian we reached out to a few family members and we got in touch with a graffiti artist out of bogota colombia who was willing to come out here for under five thousand dollars and do all the artwork you see around the house we also did some of the work ourselves some of the background colors we, we we did ourselves and we prepped the whole area for him that plus all the furnishings we went used uh, with used furniture it's a lot more work a lot of driving around and yeah. renting trucks uh, but at the end of the day we we kept our cost down and so everything you see here furnishing and artwork is under twenty thousand dollars oh that's amazing guys you know probably you are seeing this house right now that i am touring you man if you can get like below 20,000 just to get the artist to get all the furnishing you know that's a good deal because here in Davenport to get something for not just to paint and also for the service you know you pay a lot of money but what David said there you know if you are trying to be creative at the same time connection as well that's why we are here you know um, you could get a little bit cheaper or you can save some costs of like not just theming but you know to put some stuff in your house something like this okay so let's go to my last one and also I would like to ask is what would be your last tip you know for people who would like to pick and choose theming for short-term rental like what would you the first thing to tell them or advise them what they need to do or pick a team for them forget about yourself <laughs> this is not about you that you have to think of who the target consumer is gonna be what type of consumer is going to book your place obviously here in this area there's a lot of tourists and that's what we're we're gearing our short-term rental to but let's say if you were in Tennessee you're at a cabin you're not gonna want a Star Wars theme or a Mickey Mouse or, or Mario it, it just doesn't fit that the type of people going to that location is not looking for that so that that's the biggest tip don't think about yourself think about what is going to perform best mm -hmm. and if you're not 100% sure of what you can do talk to experts like us we, we know we live here uh, we know why people are coming into into Orlando there's uh, besides amusement parks there's a lot of other the things that people enter the Orlando area so yeah just don't think about yourself think about your client yeah that's the good one and also I would like to add as well you don't have to copy what others do right you can be creative let's say uh, if you like Marvel you could do Marvel right or you could do like for me when I was young I always loved Superman so I would you know if I'm gonna do like something like this I probably do Superman or something maybe one of you watching this one you like Batman or you know like Mickey Mouse I know it's a lot of stuff that you could think you know create and also the most thing important thing when you're doing this is take the risk because sometimes people think oh this is gonna get work you know you will overthinking like do I get my money back to, you know for my investment obviously you know you won't know until you start your business or you pull the trigger right so is there anything else that would you like to add in this video or are you happy about that so a quick little thing that, that I wanted to to add because you mentioned the risk that you can take yeah Remember, there's four different ways that you can benefit from having an uh, investment property. You're paying down a mortgage. The price usually increases 
increases, the, the value of the home increases. Um, you have tax deductions, all the interest rates that you're paying, you can deduct from your taxes at the end of a year. And the one that we love the most is cash flow. So yeah, um, that's the most important. <laughs> that's the most important one, but it's not the the only thing. So mm -hmm. even if you are losing money, some some months here and there, you you can't. That is a loss of your business. So you can write those as a deduction in taxes. So even if you have a bad first year, it's you're not doing anything wrong. It's just you're you're benefiting in in other ways than just the cash flow. Yeah, and also it's good for a long term, right? You get always equity when you own a property like this. So that's what we got for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and we're trying to get this video as short as possible once again if you haven't watched the part one what i will do is i will put a link here or up here there will be like a button there you just click that one and it will go to my part one or to our part one video how did we start or how did david start this particular airbnb teaming or for short-term rental not the good thing as well that i would like to add is not you know if you are miles away like let's say if you're out of state and you just want to buy here you could use this as your personal um, property and then you live here and then when you go back to your place and then you can use it for your revenue for cash flow as you said that's right <laughs> so if you watch this video until this end comment down below mario that sounds good i love it <laughs> <laughs> so once again guys thank you for watching and i'll see you on the other side peace so first of all what we